Hello and welcome, my name is Matrice and welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome as starting a superior that's going to rule Europe and the rest of the world. We start this game with, well, there was like a new blinking button at the top and I couldn't resist pushing it. And well, it's another country begging us to join us, our defensive league. And I, I kind of don't mind because I'm focused at this area at the moment. I was already pointing it on screen. Then I remembered you guys can't see my fingers pointing at screen. So, well, let me do it when the mouse points. So we are kind of going to focus on this point. And we're going to accept it. So we allowed them in. I don't know how that's going to affect the other guys. And we also need to look at these kind of things. General loyalty, improving opinion. That's, this one is kind of tempting. And the reason why is because, well, it makes it easier for us to keep everybody happy. And happy, happy, happy is the hardest thing there is. So, in the last episode, we am going to unpause the game as well because some stuff will go on. I thought we had one girlie from the Brandy family. Do we have two Brandies? Yeah, you. You have 1%. You expect more? Well, you don't have that many smart people. Alright. Well, in the last episode, we talked about attacking this guy and this guy, or at least one of those two, but yeah, well, they're kind of all in a defensive league. And that means we have to attack like. Ooh, interesting. Okay, weakened will. Behind her back. My girlfriend or wife or whatever uh, is known for being a pushover. If she wants to take something, something belonging to her, a simple threat is often enough. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know. Let's check that out because, well, a national overview. No, I want to go to you. Because we can will monthly character prominent. That's not a good thing. Holding income minus two percent. Oh my god, that is a bad stat. That's definitely a bad stat. How is our kid looking? Can we do anything with him? We can sacrifice him. That would be nice. Hmm. No, we're not going to do that. We could do another invention and religion providing investment cost minus five percent more army going up. I kind of need more oratory power. That's that's the dip. That's really the thing I need to wage more important values. Well, um, adopting standard measures and will give you the following effect. Yes, I knew that. Supernumerary uh, land supply limit. I guess just because of the name, we have to take this. That that. And can we replace any of our research instead? Uh, you. I wonder you are nine in religion, so would definitely you are eight in civics. Oh my god, you guys are all good. You are ten at martial. Damn. Damn, I got good people in my research area. Didn't expect that. Now, let's see, take a look. Unpause the game and let's take a look at our country ourselves. So we got cloth, we got precious metal and we got stone. And we are slowly getting new freemen. They're not that happy. We could build a building, but we're in the miners now, so I kind of not want to do that. I definitely not want to do that. And the reason we are in miners is because of this fortress. There are a lot of fortresses in this area, except this land. Hmm. 
Yeah, that this is really an interesting area. If only you would not have that many alliances. It's kind of funny how you have a cost belly on your friend and you have like a lot of alliances. And you don't. How about you? Who are you? You are a naked man and can we attack you or do we need to become stronger as well? Also a lot of alliances. Oh man. If only somebody would start a damn war so we could profit of it because well they are going to help you and that's not what I want. My alliances will help me as well. That's also a good thing. So this could be interesting because you got 6k, 6k. Hmm, interesting. Interesting because my guy has 6k, 5k. Oh, I guess you left. This guy left. Now we know it. You left, you dirty bastard. And I guess because you are, you also have to join my lines if you, if you, too many diplomatic relationships. Well, I kind of not mind having too many. I really don't mind, but I guess that's not a good thing. So, due to being above our limit of diplomatic relations, we now have to follow in penalties. Power costs will go down. Uh, what, uh, where do we see the power cost? Well, power cost will go up, I guess, because yes, it's plus 10%. Um, mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, hard decisions. Well. I'm not going to drop the alliance just this way, but well, let's see. You have, you all will join, and I kind of want you to join. And I guess we are going to let our people fight a little more. So I'm going to speed up the game a bit and get our 200 oratory or 190 oratory power. And that way we are, oh, I need to unpause the game. Yes, I do. That way we are going to fabricate a claim. Because that is going to take some time because we don't have that good of a leader. Kind of annoying. I'm still tempting to destroy the fort. All right, veterans Jew. After at war toll and heart. All right, so what? We do not have enough farmland to please our veterans, but we'll give them. Why don't we have enough? We we should have enough farmland, but give them what we have may. So who's the veteran? I guess season war chief. Hmm. So we can kind of pick, but we will lose a lot of money. Commanders like bribes, don't they? Well, we don't need their support. That's a hot one. So I guess this is going to be the one because I'm not going to lose that much money. I really need the oratory power. Come on, this is going to take ages. This is definitely going to take ages this way. My grass expansion will be way gone before. I kinda of want to move my army already to that area because we are going to move into this land first and I kind of want to declare on this one because he is the strongest I think he is the strongest I don't know let's check if he is the strongest he's five cohorts they're all five cohorts so there's 15,000 troops and join the defense of me who are you who 
Well, you can, because I don't mind, because I'm first going to take this one and I'll kick you out in the end. This is going pretty well, the defensive league. Once you have that all set up, six members in the defensive league. So nobody would ever dare to attack me, at least not the small ones, maybe the big ones. But we can even handle the Valencia. Alright, another dispute. Oh, uh, great. You're old, so, but you are of the Induki family? So let's take a look at your family. You are have a pretty... Oh, he's, he's the guy that's my... So I kind of not want to make you unhappy. Induki clan will lose loyalty and they are already low. And I can use the local tax, so we're going with this one, yes. Alright, so we get extra tax and that is helping us a lot. That is definitely helping us a lot, so let's see. Not really hoped I could push this on a little bit faster, but well. Alright, come on. Oh yes, I do need to unpause the game. Man, how often do that does that happen to you guys? If you like watch the screen, and I don't mind if it's in EU4, Stellaris, or any other Paradox game, but how often do you guys stare at the screen and waiting for nothing to go on? Because, well, it happens to me a lot, Brotherhood of Ode, that will help me in the war, but also Tripeman Output, that will also help us a lot. Alright, let's wait. We are slowly getting to the next step. And I find it kind of strange. Normally, they are all fighting each other, like here, Selectia is going to have a hard time. Uh, the chieftains of the has sent an envoy proclaiming that the harvest rate and taxation have all be productive a huge surplus. That's always a good thing. So, I don't know which country that is, but in the long run... And... Which, which town is this? City of... Inter Yes, it's this one. Yes, it's this one. And that will definitely help us because a marketplace will give up more local tax and also will make them more happy. So a marketplace also will give us more local development. Pause the game because we kind of need to pick a new omen. And vampire slave output. Or exhaustion, don't need that one. I don't want the happiness, I want more people. That is really what is going to get us to grow. And let's see, we got a free idea slot. We're definitely not going to use that. We got ourselves standardization. I guess we are going for the omen power army or recovery moral that no we're going for the moral because we are almost going for war. Let's unpause the game and let's see if we can still a war. That's kind of strange. I would expect be I think because I got that a big defensive leak set up that they're kind of scared. And that's a good thing on one side, but on the other hand, war is also... Ooh, what's this? This, what's this? They're building a granary, so they are kind of building up. <clears throat> let's unpause and let's take a look at our decision, because we are abandoned to nowhere. We're not going to do that ever. Form the Greater Iberia. So this is where our first goal and those... That's also... Well, I first go for the Great Iberia, and after that we're going for the whole of Spain, but that will take us some time. 
And we see some action. What is going on here? Are you at war? You just have a cause belly, but you are building up your army, so that's interesting. As triple young adult by a strange name is arriving in the morning and hustle his book. What is going to get us money or our toy power? We are definitely going to take your toy power. We're going to pause the game and we are going to get ready for the second war. All right, now I kind of want to do uh, him or her. I know that sounds pretty damn wrong. Oh my god, you've got a lot of alliances, so that's not going to be what we're going to do. How about you? Declare war? Yes, this is... Because if we take him as well... Oh, uh, we do need to fabricate a claim. And I don't get it because I had something in the technology tree that would give us cheaper fabrication of claims, but it didn't give us any cheaper fabrication of the claims. So now let's declare war. Oh, we have to wait 30 days. That's not good. So as you can see here, he's still in the defensive league. I wonder if I can take their land as well as they are in a defensive league i'm not sure i really want to know that they will definitely not attack us as 30 days and ding 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 let's attack let's declare war i was hoping for a little bit more but all right Keep pausing the game and move our army into that location. I wonder, did they join the defensive league? Yes, they did. It's 11,000 archers. They got 2,000 chariots and they got... Oh, yeah, we also have horsemen. So let's see if I can check their army. This guy, that guy. No, that's not the army. I want to check you. Can we check this army? No. We can only see what they are. They have 3,000. All right, we got 4,000 troops. I kind of want to take this land as soon as possible. Pause the game. I get some nice. And yes, we are going to accept that offer. Free idea slot. Let's see. Yeah, I got a free idea slot. They got no artery power to do that. So we're definitely going to do that. We are crushing their troops like hard time. Now let's take that. How come we are losing? All right, so he gets another skill. I guess my brother in the south are not doing that well, but we got 10,000 troops incoming. Hmm, interesting. You guys aren't doing as well as I expected. And on one side, it's pretty good because that's keep them weakened. All right, pause the game because traitors leaves our defensive league. The Celtic local power of Albonia. So that's you guys have left the league. You're still in war though. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if I can attack them back for that. Right, let's speed things just up a little bit because I want to take that city. Mm 
just to take the war goal and after that we're going to attack those thousand men you should stack your troops that's not a smart thing to do you guys keep you even won how the hell did he do that there are like 8,000 troops coming in. <laughs> yeah, I expected those 8,000. Hopefully they get reinforced on time. And... It's a word that she's fallen ill. Ooh. Wait a second. You are getting a lot of skills. Interesting. Mm, or a lot of traits at least right we should almost have that land and I also want that land as well so I'm first going to go up take that land the biggest problem is the 8k in the south Come on. All right. A feud. What's this? This is a new one. Two of our tripods have some for coming forward today and asked to help settle ownership over a gold. I'm sure they found. All right. So they found gold. And I can take the gold myself. That would be. They're both of the same family, are they not? Yes, they are. Hmm. Interesting. Rivera is currently. The husband of the tribal chief, so she. Well, we're going to take it. We're going to take the money. I know that was maybe a smart idea, but well, I really want. And what's the next diplomatic relationships is always a good thing. Come on, let's take the damn place. Because we are not doing pretty well in this war. We lost just a few battles. No, we're definitely not going to send a peace treaty. But I do have a serious problem with the 8k in the south. Alright, so we won the first battle. I kind of want to take that as well. Because I want that to be my land. Alright, so we took the land. And now we only need to beat that 6k in the south. Four K in the south, yes. Sixteen thousand troops. I definitely need Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Is that if they don't reinforce me on time? This is interesting. No, we're going to attack that. Come on, come on, come on. Let me reinforce them. And we got another scandal. I cannot use those candles. That's kind of annoying. My magistrates get wounded. Yeah, let him flog. Maybe that will teach him. All right, now let's see if we get more people. We got 5,000 troops coming in. This is going to be a danger. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Let me beat him on time. Ten times troops. Alright, so we've beaten them. And there are like 6,000 incoming. We're having a pretty hard time, but well. love to have my tribal people help me just a little bit we could really use the help but for now we are doing pretty good at the moment no we're we are going to stay and Hold this, take this land. Alright, so they are slowly losing. We are kind of having the upper hand. We got 2k and what's the... There's so many troops. We got 9k, 12k. Hunting the 4k. So that is going to go perfectly fine. And I wonder if I can take all of this. That would be gorgeous. That would really, really... I would be... Need to be careful with the aggressive expansion. Do we have anything to do... That will help us damaging ships. I don't care about ships, omen power, herbalism. Mm, improve the opinion. I guess that's going to be a good one. That's definitely going to be a good one. And is there a military slot with moral reinforcement speed? No, moral in the long run will help more. All right, so it's only sieging and they got like a thousand troops left. They're running. And... Uh, several nights ago, some guy, this guy, was discovered helping himself to a sizable quantity of gold from the national... How? And I still lose it. I kind of need popularity and my popularity is damn low and who are you anyway he's the elder he's the head of the magnum family and I will oh I definitely how good big is your family you have some rivals I don't mind but why what is your hmm we're definitely going to uh, we're going to flog him. I don't don't like people stealing my money. And uh, so I gain the affection. That's nice. I get like a lot of traits I kind of not want or some traits are good. Tell me what you guys think of the traits in the comment down below because well our chieftain Let's take a look at our seven-year-old. So he's deceitful. Hmm, interesting. Fitness plus. Oh man, that's already interesting. He needs to get a little bit more. All right. So we won the war, and now let's super peace. So I want this one, and I want this one. I. I. Hmm. Kind of interesting. Are we going to give that to him? No, we're not. We're going to take all the money. That's not that much, I guess. I was hoping for a little bit more. And there's nothing in here like you break your alliances and that kind of stuff. Oh, wait, seat province. I could make you become a subject. And you will become becomes tributary. Oh, you are becoming a tributary of no, no, we don't want that. So I'm going to take this country, and I guess this is going to be the offer. And I think we didn't do that bad. Let's pass judgment. Yeah, you know, like the Scottish, I guess, with those uh, 
You're not. How big is your family? You have a way too big family. You do as well. Big families. I don't like big families. Especially if they're low on skill. They're not a good. They all kind of crappy. Um, so crucify them all. Crucify them. Oh shoot, that was another family. Alright. I guess as uh, our country, we didn't do that bad. At our first war, we kind of need to recover. And we are going to expand our land a little bit. Kind of want to have more citizens, but I guess that's kind of out of the order. We got like a lot of tribesmen, but I don't want to build fortresses because they cost a lot of money. Training camps, granary would be nice, but we kind of need slaves. Kind of need slaves. We need to get slaves. So I guess that's something we need to find out at the next video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I really, really did. And uh, well, I hope to see you guys on the next video. If you haven't already, press that subscribe button and the little bell next to it and uh, leave a comment down below. I really enjoyed reading them. So see you guys in the next video of Imperator Rome.